brought some money out, I be flexing when I'm drunk and shit. These bitches mad at me, they throw their phone, they be like, fuck this Smoking shit. big granddaddy, little phone, them overstuff my blood and shit. Hey, look, man, y'all already know what's going on. We in the building, man. As soon as y'all get in here, smash the like button, check what number y'all is, drop location so we can shout out to where everybody from. Y'all see the title, y'all see the thumbnail. We got three topics today, but the title only had enough room for two. But uh, the three topics that we got today, we talking about O Block, E Dog, Gleese, Mun, all the O Block shorts. We talking about O Block. And then the second topic, we talk about Drench Gang, Mikey, you know what I'm saying? No Lemon Mikey, however y'all want to call him, RP to him, you know, for them just to come to an injury and shit like that. We could just going to talk about the whole situation, how everything happened with Fulton. And then we're going to talk about Polo G getting arrested in New York, man. Polo G got arrested in New York for a gun and shit like that, so we're going to talk about that. But we first, we're going to start off with the O-Block shit. So look. For the people who don't know, Zell Mother Day just passed. And you know, I think a YouTube channel called Life With Cam, he ended up uh, documenting his ass, like basically played the cameraman for the old block members and shit like that. They all gathered up in the O, and you know, he basically vlogged they shit and shit like that. That shit got like 100K views in like two weeks, so that shit doing numbers and shit like that. But we just gonna talk about you know, that shit. And then we also gonna talk about, shout out to the YouTube channel named Swamp Stories. I don't know if y'all heard a channel named Swamp Stories. He just dropped a piece on O Block and he touched on the situation that I'm about to talk about and shit like that. So we just gonna talk about everything just that got to do with that shit. So look, we gonna start off with the life with Cam shit. So look, Zell Munna Day just passed. For everybody who don't know Zell Munna, um, was an old block member, T Roy, little cousin, if I'm not mistaken. He ended up taking himself out this shit due to the pressure from the FBG duck case. It's like for them knew that his time was coming, I guess his ass, you know, ain't wanna sit in jail for that shit. So he just took himself out. And for them, he just took himself out and shit like that. But um uh, so for Zell Monday Day, all the O Block members you know, all the uh, few older members they still got out there, and basically all the younger members and shit like that. So, Gleesh, goddamn it, E Dog, DQ, Mun, and you know, just a lot of the old block shorties. Like, whole time, like, it was only like one, two, maybe three older old block members, then the rest of them was the old block shorties and shit like that. But, whole time, goddamn it, you know. The person face that stood out more than you know, you know more than anything. Obviously, the the big name faces like E Dog and Gleesh, but a person that stood out to me was Mun Mun, bro. We gonna get into this shit, man, cause whole time, bro, it's like it's like it's hard for you to re like it's hard to respect E Dog, Gleesh, and all the older members still hanging out with Mun Mun, bro. Like, it's hard to respect that shit because, you know, everybody know what happened, bro. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna say, we ain't gonna go too much, we ain't gonna say too much, but the whole time, folding them did some snake ass shit. His ass got down on one of the guys. That's all we gonna say. We gonna say got down. That can mean beat up. I'ma just let y'all, goddamn it, go in y'all head and you know y'all figure out what got down mean. That could be he stole something, he beat up one of the guys. We just gonna say he got down on one of the guys. We're gonna put it like that. And it's like y'all still chilling with folding them. And like like the one of the guys that he got down on, got down on, we gonna we gonna say that goddamn it, you know, folding them was an original member. Now, I ain't going to say Fulton was an original member. I'm a, I ain't even going to say where he from. I ain't even going to say his name. You see what I'm saying? But Fulton, I mean, yeah, we, we can say he originally from the O. Like, like everybody come from somewhere else. Like, Vaughn, you know what I'm saying? 
people be like, man, Vaughn originally from the old whole time. He ain't even folding up from Killer Boy. But look, you know, but at the end of the day, you know, we just going to put it like the Vaughn, you know, in the big picture, in the grand scheme of things, Vaughn originally from the O. So we going to say the same thing about folding up. His ass originally from the O, fool. Like, you know. So it's like, you know, his ass got seniority. That's really what I'm trying to say. Fodenham had a lot of seniority in this shit. Like, Fodenham damn near was from y'all generation. If not, was there before y'all got up in this shit. Like, Fodenham had real status in this shit. And it's like, y'all not respecting that shit, bro. Y'all bogus as hell. It's like, y'all don't want no smoke with TSG. Y'all don't want no smoke with the J-Do jump outs. Like, y'all last ducking y'all shit. Y'all supposed to be get back game. So, look, it's a lot of names. Like, for them, it's so many names. God damn it. You got um, Stress Gang, Glock Boys Money Gang, Get Back Gang, Take Some Gang, J-Do jump out boys. It's like, they has got so many names, but it's like, you know, the older generation would be like um, Stress Gang, Get Back, uh, no, Stress Gang, Glock Boy, Money Gang, and Get Back Gang. That would be like the older uh, generation. Take Some Gang and J-Do Jump Out Boy, that's like the younger generation. It's like, man, it's like y'all last, like, so Money Mom would be considered like Take Some Gang or the J-Do Jump Out Boys and shit like that. That would be with Money Mom. E Dog and Gleesh, they would be considered Glock, Boy, Money Gang, Stress Gang, and Get Back Gang. That would be what E Dog and Gleesh is considered and shit like that. You know, but I really just want to talk about how y'all still chilling with Money Mon after his ass got down on one of the guys that's come from y'all generation. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all ass damn near disrespecting folding them what he stood on bro like folding them was around when the first when the beginning of the drill scene uh first took off i can't say folding them name i can't get into specifics because i don't want to just be you know what i'm saying you know putting it all the way out there to the point where like you know when i'm trying to put something on somebody like i'm i'm goddamn it gonna speak in a way where it's like y'all know what i'm talking about without me saying the shit but look you know, phone them that money man got down on. It's like, you know, phone them got videos in the O all the way back to when Keith had just first came out, man. For the people who know, they know, man. Like phone them got videos out. Like phone them had real seniority in this shit. And money man got down on for like money man a kid, bro. His ass a shorty. Like he ain't got no seniority in this shit. Like how is y'all honoring him over? Folding them who been in this shit. Like, I ain't got no choice but to say y'all ducking y'all <laughs> shit. Y'all scary as hell. Like, y'all don't want no smoke with them J-Do jump out boys, man. Y'all don't want no smoke with take some game, man. Y'all supposed to be get bad game finest. But y'all ducking y'all shit from the J-Do jump out. Like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, y'all supposed to run that shit with an iron fist. Like, eat all. Yo ass, little as hell, bro. You light skinned as hell. You don't want no smoke with money mom, bro. Y'all last supposed to be standing on top of y'all supposed to be standing on business. Y'all last damn near letting shorty them take control of the shit. And for them, look. So look, you know, everybody, um, uh, everybody, um, uh, came together for Zell Monday. Day. You know what I'm saying? Money mom was out there with E Dog and Gleesh. Life with Cam end up vlogging the shit. But whole time, Swamp Stories, he spoke on this shit. He like, man, he's he spoke on this shit. He like, look, Shorty them did some bogus ass shit and the older guys didn't do nothing about it. They asked they asked, let that shit play out. They ass ain't even they ass ain't even goddamn it, what's now? Y'all both they ass ain't do nothing about that shit, bro. Like, y'all last damn near still kicking with Shorty now. Y'all last, god damn it, you thought Taekwon World was backdoor gang. Like, Taekwon World, god damn it, uh, called they sell backdoor gang. Like, Lil 800, they 
pride they self on like how slime they is. Like not to mention the fact they making cobras and shit. So it's like they really taking that snake shit to another level just to what they is. But then whole time shorty them and the old on the same shit. And it's like y'all last don't want no smoke, so y'all letting this shit go on. Y'all letting this shit take place. Y'all last looking like some bitches, fool. Like, y'all that looking like y'all scared to goddamn it regulate the situation. What y'all scared they gonna get down on y'all gang on phone them? Like, what is you still trying to be a part of this shit if you can't, like, like, y'all don't deserve to be the face of this shit. Like, how y'all be in the face of it if y'all ain't gonna regulate what's going on, man. Melly, like, people like Melly would never let no little young YM shorties damn near uh, run shit. Like, Bond would have never let this shit take place. On my son, like, y'all last, goddamn it, y'all last was only on something when y'all knew y'all had them faces around. Y'all was only doing something when y'all knew them faces was here. Because y'all knew, like, I, right. like, y'all did what y'all did. I ain't taking nothing away from the shit that y'all did. But it's like, it was like, it's like certain people being here is what gave y'all the courage to do what y'all did. Now that phone them not hitting no more, y'all just letting anything happen. Y'all just letting anything happen, like on phone them. Vaughn wouldn't have let this shit play out like how it played out. My son, T-Roy, wouldn't have let this shit played out how it played out, you know? And even though Swamp Stories, he's like an outside source speaking on this shit, like, like even though uh, Swamp Stories, like an outside source speaking on, like, inside shit, like, his ass got a lot of that shit right. He got a few things wrong, but he got a lot of that shit right. And the, the shit that he got right was, like, how... He said that shit. He like Vaughn and T. Roy would have never, you know what I'm saying? Like he got outside source speaking on this inside shit the whole time. He got that part right. Vaughn and T. Roy would have never let this shit played out. How y'all let this shit played out? Y'all still kicking it with four them. His ass done got on down on a, a old block member who had seniority in this shit. Four them been around since goddamn it. You you been seeing videos of four them since Keith first blew up in the old. You see what I'm saying? And it's like, y'all last phone them done got down on him, and y'all still kicking it with him. And his ass a shorty. Like, if anything, y'all supposed to honor phone them over over money money. Like, what the hell? Like, phone them ass or like like ten years in this shit, ten plus years in this shit. Dude ass, what he like? A year and a few months, a few like a few years in this shit. Like, come on, man. Ten plus years versus a year or two, like one or two years, maybe three years type shit. Like, dude ass, they're damn now, god damn it. I ain't even know, shout out to Swamp Stories, because I ain't even know that Mother Mun ass, damn now, went to college through a tantrum tantrum and they ass kicked them out. Four them ass went to Northwestern Illinois and had a mental breakdown and they kicked them out of this shit. And then he went to O Block and now his ass just. He just a so called stepper and all this goof ass shit. But the whole time, like, yo ass should have been with 800. You should have been with Taekwon World. Like, you should have been with eight, little, little, little 800 them. You, cause you slime as hell. Like, and you steady saying that shit. Like, yeah, I'm too slime for the gang and all this shit. Like, bro, that shit ain't nothing to hang your hat on being slime. Like, you know what I'm saying? That shit ain't cool on my son. That shit. Goofy as hell, like that's why I'm saying, bro. Like T, uh, E Dog and Gleesh and whoever the other older heads is, like Mona Duke ass, his ass in jail. But it's like you know, his ass was damn that out here when that shit took place too, and his ass wasn't standing on no business. Like Boss Top ass, his ass in jail, but he was out here when that shit took place too, and he wasn't. He was riding, he was flying Mona Mon out, like you know, like. Shit, Mother Mom was with top, like, right after that shit happened, like, like, none of they ass was standing on no business, gang, like, whole time, it's like the only, like, y'all ass don't stand for nothing, it's like, Vaughn and T-Roy was damn near the last ones, like, I right, everybody doing shit or whatever, but it's like, Vaughn and T-Roy seemed like they was the last one who had some honor to them and shit like that, because it's like, y'all ass not standing on top of shit like y'all like 
everybody know Mon Mon looked up the bond. You can tell by how he just how he talk, how he how he look, how he carry himself. Like he's a Von clone. He wanna be Von so bad. You know what I'm saying? And it's like the whole time, y'all last is so you know if Von was here. Shorty want to be like Von so bad, so you know if Von was here, like God damn it, you know if you know his ass gon' his ass gon' follow uh, instructions. Von give his ass instructions, like look, bro, you know what I'm saying? Fooling him, his ass gon' follow instructions and shit like that. And it's like at the end of the day, bro, y'all lads acting like hoes right now, bro. Like y'all still kicking them with phone them. Y'all ain't even exiled like whole time. Y'all really supposed to stand on that business behind phone number and get his ass up out of here. But at the very least, y'all last supposed to make his ass where he can't come around no more. Y'all still kicking it with him. Y'all still, goddamn it, like y'all scared of phone number, bro. Y'all scared of these shorties. The only reason that y'all did the shit that y'all did is because them faces was out here. Now that them faces ain't out here, y'all ass ain't doing shit. And it's good y'all stop doing shit. The whole time, the only people that's doing something right now is shorty now. So y'all ass them been inactive for so long, and shorty them out here overactive, y'all ass don't want no smoke, fool. It's, it's Sometimes your ass got a clean house. But y'all ain't built like that. Y'all ain't cut like that. Like, if you ask me, fool, some shit took place like this, and mom or T-Ray was here, Fooling them with a clean house, man. And y'all would have been with it then. Like E Dog, Gleesh, Mana Duke, uh, Boss Top. Y'all would have been with it then. Cause it's like, oh no, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's like, y'all knew y'all had V Roy and T Roy. So it's like, y'all wouldn't be, wouldn't have been worried about nothing. Like, man, shorty, them not gonna play with us. They ain't gonna play with us. We got both the Roys with us. We got V Roy and T Roy. Like, shit, we ruling with an iron fist. Anything we say go because we got V Roy and T Roy with us. Shit, we clean the house. They ain't even gonna play with us. Either they ass gonna, either we gonna get their ass up out of hell or make it where they ass can't come around no more. And that shit gonna be law. And they not gonna go against it because they know, like, for them, we got two demons. Don't nobody won't smoke with Vaughn or Troy. Like, they know what's to them. So it's like, God damn it. We ain't got nothing to worry about. But now that V-Roy and T-Roy is not here, y'all just letting anything happen. Y'all just letting anything happen. Y'all kicking it with Shorty. Who done got, and you know Shorty and them homies, you know, money, money, homies, all the j Doe jump outs, you know they gonna ride with him. I don't have nothing to say to the j Doe jump outs because at the end of the day, you know, Mana is from their generation. That's they homie for real. Folding them money, money got down on somebody from y'all, one of y'all homies. You see, that's why I'm on y'all lab because folding them that money, money got down on, that was y'all homie. That wasn't his homie. You see what I'm saying? Of course, money, money homies, the Jado jump outs and the TSGs gonna ride with money, money. That's they homie. But folding them that he got down on, that was y'all homie and y'all the older members. So for y'all to not do nothing, it's giving me scary bitch ass nigga vibes. Like y'all is scared of shorty numb, bro. Y'all don't got them demons on y'all side no more. So y'all don't want to stand on business. And the only reason that y'all was standing on business back then is because them you know, faces was out here. For whatever reason, I don't know if that gave you put that shit put a battery in y'all back. That gave y'all some courage. Like, man, we, we got, you know what I'm saying? The fact that you had demons on your side and shit, like, man, we could do anything. I don't know if that made y'all feel invincible, that, that made y'all do what y'all did. But the whole time, man, that shit, it's starting to look like a battery was putting y'all back. Like, y'all wasn't even cut like that. The only time that y'all cut like that is when phone numbers was with y'all. Now that phone number ain't with y'all no more, now y'all ass not on shit. Now y'all not on shit. So it's like, man, yeah, bro, I feel like y'all ass, y'all ass fool as hell for riding with shorty and not standing on business behind y'all homie that from y'all generation and damn near ducking y'all shit. Now that the younger, you see what I'm saying? I feel like that's whole shit, bro. But um, yeah, I feel like that's whole shit. But now nah, finna move on. You know what I'm saying? Y'all hop in the comments. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all think that's whole shit? Y'all think it just is what it is? You know, y'all hop in the comments. Y'all let me know what y'all think. 
y'all made it to this point, make sure y'all smash the like button, say what number y'all is, drop a location so we shot to where everybody from. Now we finna talk about this Drench Gang Mikey shit, man. R.P. Drench Gang Mikey. Whole time. You know, Drench Gang, so boom. Drench Gang Mikey got hit up like a week and some change ago, but he just succumbed to his injuries and shit like that, you know, like yesterday and shit. So it's like, you know, now it's official, like, phoning him and checked out and shit like that. He fought for like 10 days, though, you know what I'm saying? Tip my hat off to him. He definitely fought for like 10 days, but, um, uh, you know, but we finna just, we finna go through this, you know, how everything played out. So look, No Limit, Mikey, he wanted to show these and shit like that. And it's like, his ass had a cold ass gun. Two of them had a Glock with a switch with beams on it. God damn it. Extended mag, he had some shit over there. Extended mag, like for them had, he had a green button on the back of his shit. I'm pretty sure like he had like <laughs> green, green and red lasers on his shit. Like, for them had hella attachments on this gun. So his ass, I don't know if he needs some money or whatever, but he like made like a story on his social media, letting it be known like, I, right, you know, I'm trying to sell this shit, I'm trying to sell this shit. And it's like, you know, he put a price on it and shit like that. And then I guess he, somebody inquired about that shit. Let me just put this out there. Trying to sell a gun in Iraq right now is just not smart. It's not smart to try to sell no guns in Iraq right now. Like that shit just not the move and shit. But anyway, I guess for them need some money. He trying to sell that shit for 1300, 1250, but it's like basically 1300, but really 1250 was the exact number that he wanted for the shit. So. I guess somebody inquired about it. I guess, you know, somebody acted like they wanted to buy it or some shit. The whole time, you know, I guess he went to go meet up with them to go, you know what I'm saying, to make the transaction. And the whole time, you know, the shit happened on 80th and Phillips and shit. So the whole time, you know, when he was uh, either waiting, going to 80th and Phillips or waiting on, on the person on 80th and Phillips, you know, Somebody end up, you know, blowing him down and shit like that. The whole time, you know, his ass ended up going to the hospital and shit. And like I said, he been in the hospital since like the second. He been in the hospital since like the first. So it's like his ass was, he just checked like yesterday. So it's like he was fighting for like 10 days. He was fighting for like 10 days. And it's like he just checked and shit like that. So it's like. You know, definitely condolences to him and, you know, tell my head off to him for fighting as long as he did. But as far as the situation, you know, like, like for one fool, like I said, selling the gun in the rack right now is just not smart. It's just a bad idea. But then for two, you know, you're not going to try to sell no gun to no uh, complete stranger. Like, if anything, you're going to try to sell a gun to when they on homies or some shit like that. Like, you're not finna try to sell no gun to nobody that you don't know. You're not finna try to sell a gun to somebody that you don't know. Like, if you're gonna try to sell a gun, you're gonna try to sell it to somebody that you know and shit like that. So it's like, you know, the situation definitely giving out back door vibes just off that. Like, whoever he tried to sell the gun to, you know that Cause like selling or trying to sell a gun to a stranger is like either instant, like you ready, you like you asking to go to jail, cause you could be it could be twelve, cause you don't know the person, and and then it's like a death sentence for real. It's like a like selling a gun to somebody that you don't know is like asking for like it's like an instant jail sentence or an instant death sentence or an instant, you know what I'm saying? Getting your ass shot sentence, surviving, but you know what I'm saying, like whatever, like. Like you ask for something bad to happen, you know? So it's like, you know, for them sold the shit to somebody that he knew. So just off that, the situation giving back door vibes and shit like that. But, you know, like shit, like I said, bro, that gun was definitely not worth nobody getting killed over. Let me make that clear. It wasn't worth nobody getting killed over, but the way how shit is, is in the rack right now, it's like that gun was something that 
a lot of phone numbers with love that had their hands on, you know, just off like all the shit, like the gun had everything. It had first for one, it's a Glock, then it got extended mag, then it got a switch on it, then it got beams on it. You see what I'm saying? Like, you know, like right now it's like Call of Duty in the rack right now. Like, and a gun like that is like shorts and you know, I'm out here over extravagant and that gun would be like like that'll make sure them uh, like antennas stick up like you know what I'm saying they eyes will light up they see that gun like oh, I need that type shit like that's definitely a gun that shorty and them would love to get their hands on the shit so it's like somebody will definitely try to rob their way for that shit and you know due to the fact that it's a gun transaction a robbery can instantly easily turn into a homicide, you know what I'm saying? And due to the fact that, you know, folding them his ass, you know, his ass with drenching them, like a person probably trying to rob them the whole time, they knowing if they don't do the robbery the right way, they ass finna get left up. Like his ass is his ass is no limit. His ass is drenched gang. Like, for them Leo ass here, you better have the ups. You better be in control, 100% in control of the situation. Because if you're not, and you know what I'm saying, the shit, you know what I'm saying, go, don't go your way, like, your ass gonna get left up. If anything, shit, you gonna get killed by the gun that you was trying to steal. He gonna kill you with the gun that he was finna sell your ass type of shit. And it's like, or leave you out there, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, for the ambulance to come pick you up or whatever. If they don't come pick you up in time, like, you is going to die. But it's like, shit, you know, like a, like, like a robbery can easily turn into a homicide. Like, that shit probably started off as an... Like, it probably wasn't originally like, all right, we're going to kill him. Like, it could have... Like, a big chance is that, like, that shit could have originally been a, you know, a plan to rob him. But a robbery turned into a homicide like this. So it's like, shit, you know, that plan to rob him could have actually turned into, like, nah, we got to kill him, bro. Because, like, shit, you know, his ass not going. You know what I'm saying? His ass not going. His ass struggling with us, all type of shit. Like, we got to pop him and shit like that. So it's like, you know... But, um, yeah, man, you know, No Lemon Mikey, he had the the Glock with the switch, with the beans, with the extended mag. He had everything on that shit. And he posted that shit on his Instagram story. And he was like, look, I need 1200 need 1250 for it. He put up in the caption, too. He like, you play, you lay. Like, shit, if you try to tweak with me, you know what I'm saying? Your ass gonna die. On the phone, I'm like, your ass tweak with me, your ass gonna die and shit. So it's like... He knew what he was getting into, you know what I'm saying? Like, just off the caption that he made, like, he knew this was, like, a risky move. You know, phone them put the caption, you play, you lay. So it's like, he know that this is, like, this ain't finna be no, God damn it, you know what I'm saying? Safe transaction and shit like that. He knew it was, you know, it was danger. You know, it was like, motherfucker could have died behind this shit, whether it be him or... The person. That's why he like, look, man, your ass play, your ass don't die. I'm fooling him. So it's like, you know, it just so happened that they ass did play. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, instead of them dying, like, you know, it went the other way and shit like that. But, uh, nah, RP, No Limit Mikey. You know what I'm saying? Fooling him. Fought for 10 days. Like I said, this shit happened on, like, the 2nd of April. He just checked out yesterday on, like, the 11th. So it was like phoning them for for like nine, ten days and shit like that. So I definitely took my hat off to him. And it's like, you know, whoever did this shit, man, it's like, man, that shit wasn't worth that shit, bro. You know, like, you know what I'm saying? I can't really, you know, convince everybody in the rack to get off, the, like, all that goof-ass shit. But it's like, bro, just know y'all have some goofy game. Like, yo ass, like... Yo ass, you see what I'm saying? Like, and then you know for them know you in some type of way. So it's like, yo ass, back door as hell. Whoever did this shit, you back door as hell. And then, like, at the end of the day, bro, it's like, bro, yo ass could have went and got a gun, like, some other way, bro. You ain't have to get over for them 
and try to rob him for his gun. Like, I know that shit was extravagant as hell. Like, that gun he had uh, make a loud shorty in them eyes light up. But it's like, look, bro, you know, now you got a potential, uh, uh, now you got a potential case on your hands. Like, like at first, it would have just been like, you know, a, uh, a temp murder, but now you got a whole murder on your hands, bro. So 12 ever, ever catch up with you, you know what I'm saying? Now you got to fight this body. And then whole time, like, shit, your ass probably ain't going to, like, you probably going to lose. Like, your ass going to get that 40 piece. Like, see that Ryan, though, bro. Like, ain't no self-defense or none of that shit, bro. Like, your ass going to get that 40 piece. Like, see that Ryan, they all because you wanted this extravagant-ass gun. Like, was it really worth it? Now, when you sitting in jail for them 40 years and you thinking, like, damn, all this because I wanted that gun. And now I got 40 years. Like, you know, just remember these words that I said, bro. Was it worth it, fool? Like, that shit wasn't worth it. But look, RP Mikey, man, we finna move on to the next topic. If y'all made it to this point, make sure y'all smash the like button, say what number y'all lives, drop low so we can shop where everybody from. Um, gonna talk about Polo G, man. Polo G end up getting arrested in New York City, bro. You know, his ass end up, you know, they charged him with a gun and shit like that. Whole time, you know, his ass was in Manhattan at a hotel in Manhattan. And I guess, you know, when Polo G left the hotel, I guess the maid came in the hotel and she damn near found the gun, you know. Like, I don't, I don't know if, goddamn it, um, Polo G had officially left the hotel yet or... His ass was still staying at the hotel and he just temporarily left and he was coming back to the hotel and he just left his gun up in there while he was gone type shit. I don't know, but because I ain't gonna lie, if Fonum had officially left the hotel and he wasn't coming back, that's dumb as hell for you to leave your gun up in there. But if you had temporarily left and you was on your way back to the hotel, you know what I'm saying? You were still standing there and like the maid came in the room while you was temporarily gone and found a gun. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like that shit kind of messed up. Cause like, you know, I, I know the hotel's supposed to do whatever they, uh, you know what I'm saying? Daily checks, daily cleanups and shit like that. But it's like that shit snake as hell. Like that's, and then they, they called the police the whole time. I was still staying in this room. But it's like, you know, anybody who's been at a hotel, y'all know that the hotel people be on that shit. Like, you uh, book like four or five days at this hotel room or whatever. You spent your first day there. You still got four more days left, but you leave out to go do some shit. And it's like, while you gone doing some shit, the hotel people are coming in the room to do whatever they do, clean up, check uh maintenance check or whatever like they got the card to come up in your shit while you not there you know what i'm saying so it's like you know however the situation played out the maid end up finding the gun in polo room and you know her in the hotel end up calling the police and polo end up getting booked for the gun and shit like that and, you know you know he instantly bonded out the next day for them instantly bonded out the next day but he still got a court date and he still got a gun case and he got to go to court for that shit on June the 4th. And this is New York. This is New York we talking about. So it's like, everybody know like New York is notorious for they strict gun law and shit like that. Like five years mandatory, 10 years mandatory type shit. So it's like, you know, Polo definitely got a whole New York gun case on his hand. And it's like, at the end of the day, bro, you know, I feel like that shit goofy on his part, bro. Cause you know why I feel like it's goofy on his part? Because Polo is at the point where he's supposed to have licensed armed security guards who have legal weapons to the point where you don't have to have no gun. You see what I'm saying? That, you know, even if they did find a gun uh, in your room, like shit, if, it, if it's your, uh, if you have a legal license, uh, to, uh, armed security and shit like that, like that shit wouldn't have never turned out for nothing. Like that shit, like his ass is legally allowed to carry this shit anywhere we go type shit. So it's like his ass is licensed armed security guard and shit like that. Like four, eight, CCS, <laughs> all that shit. 
I don't even know who this is. Yeah, Foy, Foy, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, like how the hell you, like, Polo, your ass got too many M's, bro. Like, you the first person I seen with an iPhone chain. Four of them got an iPhone chain, like, from them, like, your ass got millions and millions and millions of dollars in jewelry. Like, you can't take, like, bro, we don't even need millions. You should sit one, all them damn M's you got, you should put one M to the side strictly for, strictly for, uh, license security, bro. Strictly for license security, like, for you to not have licensed security, especially in a place like New York, especially in a place like New York, bro. You was in New York City. That whole time, your ass moving with illegal firearms. Like, come on, bro. You got you got too much money for that shit, bro. Like, you think Dirk still moving around with illegal firearms, like on him? You see what I'm saying? Like, no, like the answer is no. Like, Dirk ain't moving around with no illegal firearm that could be attached to him. Four of them got real license security. Like, goddamn it, everywhere he go. Four of them got license security everywhere he go. The days where people get ridiculed for having security is over. Anybody still doing that shit, they are living in the past. That shit dead. Like, we having too much money. We having too much money to be risking anything, our freedom, our life, any of that shit, bro. Like, we having too much motion, too much money. We can't uh, leave nothing up to chance. We can't risk, like, we ain't, that shit over, you know? And even if it wasn't over, who gives a damn? Who gives a damn if somebody, oh, Polo, you got some life security. Polo, you, your ass ain't in the field. Polo, your ass moving around with all these security guards. Like, who gives a damn, bro? Like, you made it. You rich as hell. You got money, bro. Now, you just caught a new, you just caught a gun charge in New York. And you know how them New York gun laws is. So it's like, you know, yeah, you bonded out. Your phone man ain't even spent 24 hours up in that shit. Or he spent only 24 hours up in that shit. Yeah, you bonded out. But now you got a gun case in New York that you got to fight now. You gotta go back to court on the June 4th, and it's like, now they finna judge, now you gotta sit in front of the judge, and the judge finna be throwing out all this potential time, even though, you know what I'm saying, your ass probably gonna come out of this situation. We not, it ain't nothing guaranteed. We don't know if you is, but it's like, just off the fact that you got top-notch legal team, you probably is, but why not prevent this shit from even happening in the first place by having top-notch security team? Like, having top-notch security team prevents you from being in a position where you gotta have top-notch legal team in the first place. Like, you gotta be, what what, what, what five, what, what Larry Hoover say uh, in his literature? The five Ps, proper preparation prevent poor performance. On them, you ain't gotta be no GD. You don't gotta be no GD to live by that shit, bro. That shit is universal. That's, it don't matter where you from, it don't matter what organization you a part of, the five P's is essential. Proper preparation prevent poor performance, bro. You did not live by that shit. Your ass too busy, goddamn it. Disrespecting the GDs the whole time. You need to look in they goddamn literature and take the gems out of the shit that you can use. Like, like ah yeah, I know your ass what you is, Polo, the whole time, bro. Like, you ain't gotta be so anti-GD to the point where you can't respect the five Ps on my son. Like, I know you don't fuck with four no, but it's like, in they laws, they got some essential shit in they laws, the five Ps. Like, you, on my son, your ass ain't live by that shit. And if you did, you would never have a gun case in New York right now. You would not have to come back to New York on June 4th to fight this gun case and shit like that, you know? You wouldn't have the judge be like, yeah, the charge that you have holds a mandatory five years or the charge you have holds a mandatory 10 years, you wouldn't, you wouldn't even have to hit a judge say none of that shit to you. But now, since your ass didn't live, you know what I'm saying, since your ass was moving, 
the wrong way on my son. Your ass was not moving the right way, bro. That shit crazy. Come on, man. You supposed to be making up north look good, bro. I'm out here trying to make the North Pole look good, bro. Your ass on the North Pole just like me, man. R.P. Pappy, shout out to you, Polo. Like, it's only a few people from up north that's, goddammit, standing on business, bro. Like, just like I was saying about, uh, Polo, your mama. Like, your mama in the news for shooting Trent, baby, and shooting Leilani. Leilani told me to touching racks to the ceiling. I switched my swag up. Can't you tell the difference? I'm my son. Yo, mama shooting that Leilani. God damn it. I'm, I got in the video. Got on the ass about that shit. Like, man, what is you doing? You making up and off look bad as hell right now. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, Polo. We got to move better, my boy. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully you come out on top. Hopefully you leave out of the situation unscathed and shit like that. Go <laughs> ahead and get that top-notch legal team that you definitely got the money to get and shit like that. And go on ahead and take care of the shit, bro. Go on ahead, you know what I'm saying? But moving forward, make sure you have shit in place where this shit don't even happen, bro. There's no way in hell that you still got to move around with a gun. You, personally, you. There's no way in hell that you still got to move around with a gun. Like, you supposed to have top-notch million-dollar security team that's legally allowed to carry firearms, bro. And that's what it is. But um, you can do a quick recap. Y'all made it to this point. Make sure y'all smash the like button, say what number y'all is, uh, and drop location so we can shout out to where everybody from. So, yeah, quick recap, then we finna get up out of here. You know, as far as the old block E-Dog, Gleesh, Mon situation, yeah, man, I feel like y'all scared of the shorties, bro. Y'all letting all type of shit going on. Y'all know phoning him what he did, his ass bogus. Y'all shouldn't be kicking with him, but y'all still kicking with him. We seen on Zell Monday, y'all was kicking with him. And then dude, the Swamp Stories channel, his ass spoke on this shit too. How like y'all, the older generation, it's looked like y'all ducking y'all shit from the, the younger generation. So it's like, yeah, bro, that's whole shit, that scary shit. Please eat dog, y'all not standing on business. For y'all to be the faces, y'all not standing on business how y'all supposed to. Y'all letting all type of shit go on and shit. All right, that's that. As far as Drench Game Mikey, RP Drench Game Mikey, you know, he got hit up on like the 2nd of April. He just passed yesterday, so he fought for like 10, 9, 10 days and shit. You know, the situation behind that, for him was trying to sell a gun and shit. And, you know, I guess the person that he was trying to sell a gun uh, to, you know, probably initially just wanted to rob him, but they end up shooting him and, and killing him and shit like that. So, you know, anybody who watching, just know if you're in Iraq, just know trying to sell a gun is not smart. Find another way to do whatever you're trying to do. Do not try to sell no gun in Iraq. That's not a smart move right now. You know, it's a whole lot of goofy ass shit going on. So, but now, RIP, uh, Drench Game, Mike. As far as Polo G getting arrested with a gun, like, come on, Polo. We could have prevented this shit, bro. You got all these damn M's. Put an M to the side strictly just for security. You know my son? You supposed to put a, have an old M to the side. This shit, like, also just for security. Just security purposes type shit. Ain't nobody clowning people with securities no more. And even if they did, who gives a damn? Like, shit. You just got caught with a gun in New York. You bonded out, but you still got the case. You still got to come back on June 4th and get in front of it. You still got to fight the case and shit. So it's like, that shit definitely could have been prevented. So yeah, Polo, you got to move better than that shit. But look, y'all already know what's going on. I love y'all. Make sure y'all smash the like button. Say what number y'all live. Drop location so we can shout out to where everybody's from. Make sure y'all uh, watch all the way to the end of the video so y'all can see all the ways to tap into the channel. Basically, just go in the description and mess with all the links in the description from top to bottom. That's how you, uh, that's how you, uh, tap into the channel and shit like that. Make sure y'all, everybody tap in. Make sure y'all get y'all OTM merch. Y'all already know what's going on. M merch for females, merch for men, merch for everybody. Make sure y'all go get y'all shit. Click the link so y'all can see all the merch we got. Matter of fact, just watch all the way to the end of the video. You can see all the merch we got. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at the official CSP1. You know, make sure y'all go mess with my music. God damn it, uh, click the CSP hits link in the description. And God damn it, you know what I'm saying? Go run that shit up. And go click that DODA link in the description. Go run that shit up too. But look, I love y'all. Shout out to everybody. Keep putting up. Y'all already know what's going on, man. I'm finna get up out of here. I broke my heart.
want some money, y'all, I be flexing when I'm drunk and shit. These bitches mad at me, they throw their phone, they be like, fuck this shit. Smoking big granddaddy, look for them overstuff my blood and shit. If I kidnap granny, you gon' be mad as motherfucker. Hey. Got the kickback addy, I come through strap this motherfucker. Hey. Bad bitch, red tatted, and hit hey. them black as motherfucker. Hey. Some money, y'all. I be flexing when I'm drunk and shit. These bitches mad at me. They throw their phone, they be like, fuck this. Smoking big granddaddy. Look for them overstuff my blood and shit.